Barrel Craft Spirits is all about transparency. Check out their back label and you will see every state of distillation that goes into the batch. Find out more at BarrelBourbon.com. Hey everyone, we're back with another Whiskey Quickie and today we're taking a look at Hunt and Gather. This is a second limited edition release that they've done and this is a 15 year Canadian whiskey. So here's some of the details. This is coming from Latitude Beverage. They are a, are a wine and spirits company based out of Boston. We had done an earlier review of their Wheel Horse bourbon, which they had actually sourced from Owensboro from Green River. That was pretty good, I remember. Yes, and this is a 15-year Canadian whiskey, as I said. Now, this is what they say is a very unique Canadian risk whiskey because usually it's you know a rye Canadian whiskey or something like that or blended, which is kind of common there. But this is predominantly a corn whiskey, <laughs> which apparently you don't see very often. It is non-chill filtered, bottled at barrel proof, which is 121 proof, and has a retail price of $70. Man, Barney would be all over this. Him and Fred, they were like, Talking about, oh, we love corn whiskey. We love corn whiskey. And Canadian whiskey is starting to make a big jump right now. At least the rye whiskey is. But I don't know. We'll see what this corn whiskey is all about. We just cracked it. So let's go. On to the nose. Hmm. I don't know if I can pick some out. It almost has a little bit of a, like a hay or grassy note to it or maybe it's stringent. I mean, am I, am I wrong here? Yeah. And I couldn't get like. Like, a, you know, when you grill a corn, you like put the husk on it, but some of the kernels get black. <laughs> yeah. It kind of has that, like that smell, like the husk is burning or, you mm -hmm. know, something like that. Um, I usually take the husk down, layer it in butter, put the husk back on and then put it on the grill. Uh, that's how you keep your figure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Enough of that. Let's go on to the taste here. Yeah, it's like. A lot of brown sugar, mm -hmm. um, that really sweet corn pudding. I was about to say, the, the corn yeah. note really jumps out here, and you definitely get that that sweet corn taste out of this. Yeah, and there's a little bit of nice baking spices towards the end. It's just subtly there, but uh, it's overall pretty balanced. Pretty yeah. good. And, and like I said, a barrel-proof expression, definitely unique, different flavors and stuff like that going on. So yeah, let's go ahead and rate this. So on the nose, where are you at here? Mm, sideways uh just thumbs, wasn't sideways a thumbs down for me yeah a little bit like i said a little bit turned off by the nose but i think the the taste really changes so i kind of want to see what you thought what did you um, think of the taste i love the taste like if you like really sweet syrupy bourbons uh you're gonna love this it's got a lot of thick sugary flavors going on that i that i enjoyed especially if you're a big fan of like you know just corn whiskey in general this is going to be a little bit more of an elevated experience in my opinion yep and on the finish I'm thumbs up. I think there's a nice hint of baking spices. There's, it's not overpowering. It's not too robust. It just sits there. It's a nice, sweet baking spice hanging on my tongue. I agree. I, I think it, like I said, it, it gives a, a very unique flavor profile, a little bit different than what you can find out there in the market. So if corn whiskey is your thing, you should think about tracking it down. Yep. Cheers, everybody. We'll see you next time.